Welcome back, YouTube. My name is Justin Shanholzer. I represent Beckley's RVs, Maryland's number one RV dealership for the last 20 years in a row. And today we're gonna be showing you the 2021 A-Liner Expedition. This is a very small travel trailer fold down that can be virtually towed by almost any small to mid-sized SUV as it only weighs right around 2,700 pounds dry. It's got every single amenity that a 30 foot long travel trailer does all in an 18 foot overall length trailer and it's got four hard walls on the exterior. So you could take this virtually into any state or national park, especially if they happen to have some bears, uh, you'd be able to take this exactly there. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you everything on the inside first, and then we're gonna show you everything on the exterior. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing down below. Otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So now that we're on the inside of the A-Liner Expedition, we're gonna show you the kitchen first. So as you can see, you've got a two burner cooktop. Directly to the left of that, you've got a good size sink. And then down below, they provide you a microwave. And then to the right of that, they give you a three-way gas, electric, and 12-volt driven refrigerator. And then underneath, you can see that's gonna be your furnace. And this also has an AC unit to it, which is directly right back behind here which this is a 5,000 BTU AC, maybe even a little bit larger than that. So that should be plenty in order to keep this thing nice and cool in those hot 100 degree summer days. So the A-Liner Expedition has a couple of options in regards to how the floor plan is laid out. This particular model that we're in is called the Rear Sofa Expedition. So what the Rear Sofa provides us is just that. It gives us a sofa here on the back wall. So I'll probably throw some pillows behind me, that way it seats a little bit more comfortable, but otherwise it's nice to have just one more seating arrangement on the inside versus just sitting at the table that we're getting ready to show it to you here in a moment. Um, this actually converts over into a bed, so we'll show you that here now. So this little tassel just simply slides this whole thing forwards. You can drop down these cushions. And now you've got a fairly good sized bed. So I'm about five foot nine, we'll climb up top here and lay lengthwise. And as you can see, I've got plenty of room both from my feet all the way up top to my head there. So the cool thing with the A-Liner Expedition is that also gives a cassette toilet. So a lot of times for us guys, we normally don't have any issues going outside, maybe in the middle of the night, but uh, typically for the ladies, they prefer to have this. So this offers a great uh, you know, way to be able to get up off the ground, but still be able to have a bathroom on the inside of such a small and lightweight vehicle. Um, we're gonna transition over. I'm gonna show you what the table looks like up front. So this is your booth style table. Um, it's really flexible. So this just has some kind of sliding feet here. So if you didn't want this table sitting here, you could easily slide that around. The other nice thing is that this also converts into another bed. So you've got some cushions that'll lay down and then you could sleep all the way up to three people with this model. So one here and then two back there up front in that uh, you know main bed area there. Another cool feature that's on this is gonna be your fantastic fan. So the people that have camped in these things absolutely rave about this fan. They do it even in some larger type uh, vehicles that we carry here as well. The advantage with this is it's a two-way ventilation fan. So you could either suck air out or you could bring air in. So it does a really good job, especially if you happen to be boondocking with this thing, where at a place where you don't have the ability to plug in and use the AC, on that hot, you know, 100 degree summer day like we were talking about earlier, you can open that up, turn the fan on, open up all the windows throughout the whole coach, and that'll give a really nice cross ventilation going all the way through. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna transition to the exterior. We're gonna show you a couple of the cool features that are there as well. So now that we're on the outside of the A-Liner Expedition, we're gonna show you all the exterior features that comes along with this particular model. But before we dive into that, I think it's important to note the A-Liner's backstory. So they're the original A-frame type trailer. They've been in business for a little over 35 years. They're manufactured very local to us up here in Somerset, Pennsylvania. And the construction on this is bar none to any other type of A-Liner uh, that's out within the industry. So kind of starting off up front, some of that construction stuff that they do is as so back behind these fiberglass sided walls, they use a composite paneling that's called Asdell. So the biggest problem within the RV industry is getting water behind those side walls and delaminating or uh, rotting out the wood that's back behind there. Fortunately, they understand that and A-Liner provides you those Asdell walls to prevent any of those issues in the event that this thing gets some water back behind those walls. Um, down below, I wanna show you some of the exterior uh, you know, storage that they have. A couple of good sized storage spaces outside here. And then 
directly to the left here, they give you an exterior porch light. You've got two entrance steps instead of just having one entrance step, so it's very easy to enter and exit from the uh, trailer. And then up and above, which is a uh, option for this particular model, you've got the high assist wind kit. So what this does, it has a little pin that's here, and this large handle here swings out and around. It does two things. Number one, you could actually use this to push the roof up on top of the uh, on top of the A-liner when we go to set this thing up or down. The other thing is we could swivel this all the way around to this side, and what that does, that locks the A-frame in position. So in the event that we get into a high wind situation, this will ensure that it doesn't come out and unfold it. So some of y'all are probably wondering, well, what am I talking about? Well, the A-frames, the advantage of these things is they actually all completely collapse and fold down. So it's gonna be about this height when you're traveling down the road. So we go back to earlier, uh, these are very easily towable by many vehicles because number one, they're not as wide, but then number two, they fold down and that means you can easily see up and over top of the trailer. So that's a huge advantage that these things have to offer. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you a couple other quick things. So outside here, uh, that's where you would drain out the cassette toilet that's inside. We'll show you guys that when you actually come out and take delivery of the coach. They provide you two exterior outlets that are here. So if you had a skillet or you know really whatever, you could set right up there and be able to utilize those outside outlets. And then back here, you have an optional gas grill or stove that you could use. What it would do is it'd sit right outside here on top of this tray, and then they provide you a quick connect for propane right down below here. So we're gonna keep moving around in the back here. So on the back of the uh, trailer here, this is where your spare tire would mount to. Something I wanna point out is on some of the lesser expensive models that are out there, they only provide you two stabilizing jacks versus the A-Liner Expedition provides you four stabilizing jacks. So that'll ensure when you're in the inside of the trailer, it'll prevent that thing from moving, shifting, or rocking around, which is really a nice added feature to this. So we were talking about this thing having all the amenities that a full-size travel trailer has. I'm just gonna kind of showcase a few of those items out here and what I mean by that. So you could connect here and fill up, or uh, you could connect right here and fill up your fresh water tank. It comes with an 11 gallon fresh water tank. This guy right here is a city water connection. So if we're hooked up at a campground, we could use their pressurized water to go directly to the appliances inside. We could have water. And then over here to the left, they provide us a six gallon propane driven water heater. The nice thing with these water heaters is unlike the old style pop-ups and some, again, lesser expensive models, this is a direct spark ignition water heater, meaning we turn it all on inside and we don't have to turn anything on or off on the exterior here, which sometimes those are really a pain to actually set up and down. So this right here is gonna be the outside outlet for us to plug into 110 volt electricity if we're at the campground. And then this is a cable inlet. So if we wanted to bring our own TV, there's a spot inside for us to be able to set up a TV. If they have cable at the uh, campsite, we could watch cable TV on the inside of the trailer. Uh, now on the back here, this is gonna be your exterior AC unit. So that was that window mounted AC unit that we were talking about. These get a ton of controversy within the industry uh, and on some of the owner's forums. I personally think they're an advantage to have, primarily because of noise. A lot of the noise is on the outside of this thing. Um, and then uh, secondly, in the event that this thing is to break, uh, it's very easy to be able to go to Home Depot or Lowe's and be able to go and get a brand new AC unit. Yes, it is something that you have to concern yourself when you're going down the road. You do have to consider you got an extra six inches sticking out, but as soon as you get into uh, the jive of being able to tow this, you'll be able to easily be able to uh, you know, drive and not have to concern yourself much with that. Um, over here, they provide you an exterior shower. So unfortunately, we didn't have a shower on the inside, but we do have one on the outside. Gives you both a hot and a cold feature. You could set up an exterior area here and be able to hang out and take that shower as needed, especially on a nice day like today. And this is just the back of your refrigerator, nothing too crazy there. And then this is the other side of your pass-through storage. And then right here, they provide you a solar plug-in for a ZAMP. What that means to you is this solar connection 
You could grab a portable solar panel. They come in like a briefcase size. You could set up that solar panel outside. It's got a long wire that comes off of it. You plug right into here. And what that'll do is that'll help trickle charge your 12 volt batteries that are on the front of the tongue of the trailer. So that would give you the ability to extend your boondocking stay, uh, you know, if needed. Uh, one last little quick construction thing that we didn't talk about here uh, earlier is the type of axles that are on this thing. So um, primarily within the industry, most trailers are using a standard leaf spring style suspension or axles. The advantage with this is they're using a torsion axle. So what that means to you is it's almost like an independent suspension really. So uh, if you happen to be rolling 65 mile an hour down the road, if you happen to hit a pothole, that suspension is going to really help shock or absorb all the shock and uh, ultimately provide you a little bit of a better towing experience, but also too, you won't have as much stuff on the inside, shaking, moving, or uh, you know, kind of messing up and around inside there. But otherwise, let me show you the rest of this stuff up front. So one thing I also wanted to point out are the optional dormers that are on these things. So when I say a dormer, that's what this big piece is right here. This particular model has two dormers on it. So you have to consider a couple of things. Number one, inside it gives us a lot more headroom. It's a little bit more comfortable and feels a little bit more spacious. But number two, it does add some weight. So Primarily, the reason why most people are purchasing these things is because of how lightweight that they are. If you're really trying to minimize the amount of weight, then I recommend maybe optioning these out without having those dormers on side or on the outside, or you could transition over to a, another model that does not have these type of dormers. So once again, my first name is Justin. I represent Maryland's number one RV dealership, Beckley's RVs. We hope you enjoyed the video. We're gonna be sharing a ton of new content coming to you here very, very soon. Be sure to consider liking, commenting, and subscribing on the video. We'll see you on the next one.